Reality is what surrounds us. It is what we perceive to be the real world. But how do we know what we are seeing is reality? Knowing the invisible process in our mind that just tells us, yes, what we perceive around us is the truth and is real. But how do we really know anything? One way of knowing is through immaterialism, which states that the world around us is not one made up of matter, but solely perception. This theory was created by Bishop George Berkeley and stated to be is to be perceived, meaning that only we know things exist if we are currently seeing them, or hearing them, or experiencing them. If a tree were to fall in a forest and no one was there to witness it, there is no way to actually know if the tree fell. Moreover, if the tree made a sound as it fell. That is, until someone saw that the tree fell. Immaterialism relies on the limitations of sense perception. Sense perception is the ability to experience the world around us by using our senses. When we experience the world around us, we learn new ideas. We know that trees, for example, we know that trees have a hard and rough trunk because we have used our senses to feel it. Immaterialism relies on this ad hoc reasoning, which is the process of speculating about the reasons for which something has happened. This speculation causes the uncertainties found in immaterialism. Another theory about the truth about reality is the simulation theory. This theory proposes that our senses have been tricked into believing a superficial environment that surrounds us. In other words, the world around us is just plainly a simulation. This theory says that we do not know our true reality because our minds are merely tricked into believing our senses. In Nick Bostom's popular paper concerning the theory, he says, if we are currently not living in a simulation, then we are not entitled to believe that our future descendants will be in one with the rise of computing power. Surprisingly, this is a very conservative take on the theory, with some people suggesting that we are not just living in one simulation, but in fact, that we are living in multiple simulations, where the original simulation creates a simulation that simulates another simulation and so on. There are many questions to this theory, like do humans really exist? Are we just pawns in a bigger game? Or what is reality? The truth is we really know nothing about truth or reality and no one can disprove or prove that. Reality can be, and will always be, non-existent and existent at the same time.